All right, we've got a question here. Let's put on some merch. Duro.com. Um, let's go. We've got a question here. This is from my coaching group. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, join Duro.com. And uh, have a look on there. It's got a Facebook group there. Ask me any questions. And uh, there's no trolls in there. There's a little pie wall. One off fee. And any questions you want, you ask me. This is a question one. First off, Harley, appreciate the content. It's reading off my screen here. Uh, your advice has been definitely impacted me and shifted my mindset in a big way. Fantastic. Uh, I've been dating a new guy for the past couple of months and things have been great. However, I've noticed when we're around a certain other female, he can be really engaged with her and is flirty. So a certain other female. So this is a woman with a man. She's dating, dating a guy. Um, dating, I'm not sure what that means. You know, I'll ask some questions here. Um, and uh, But he's around this certain other female. He's getting a little bit flirty. He's engaged with her. He's giving her masculine presence. And this isn't flying with our lady here. Uh, it didn't really bother me at first, as I know it's human nature to flirt. Yes, yeah, correct. Um, and, and be attracted to opposite sex. But it became more obvious. <laughs> I ended up talking to him about it in a calm way. Good. And he apologized and said he would be more mindful about this in the future. Do you th Which means he'll do it behind your back. Or he might do it or not do it at all. We'll, we'll get into all these things, all right? Do you think there's something I could change here? Any advice in dealing with jealousy? Here we go, here we go. I, because this is what it is, it's jealousy. I always give him compliments, build him up, and I'm present with him, so it's a bit frustrating when this happens. <sighs> Very good here. Where do we want to get started? Again, my goal here is to help. I might come across as a douchebag or as arrogant or rude or immature, but I'm just going to talk from a man's side here. Of this man, a man, I'm 44 years of age, <laughs> going on to 13. I've uh, been around a lot of women in my life, a lot of great experiences, a lot of less than great experiences, and I've coached a lot of guys and girls in relationships. So that's my qualifications, is relationship quality goes up when you take your own advice. Let's break it down. Um, no woman, you don't want to be with a guy who doesn't, it has an inability to engage with other with females. You don't want to, women don't want to be with men who other women don't want to fuck or other guys don't want to be. Let me say it again. Women don't, or women want to be with guys who other women want to, and other guys want to be. Or maybe they want to, too. That's just how it is. So you, if a woman doesn't have competition anxiety in her relationship, she's like, oh, something missing here. I don't know what it is. A lot of women don't even know what competition anxiety is, but they need to have it, man. If a woman doesn't have competition anxiety... She feels incomplete. Incomplete. Every single woman. Some women it's more than others, but every single woman wants to feel that, like, what I've got, other people want. Competition anxiety. That's women, like, they just crave that. They crave that. Now, this guy, I don't know who he is. He, let's go with some possibilities here. Um, one of which may be true, and the rest won't be. I don't know who he is. Let's just, I can speculate here. And on top of my head, this is how I know this is how well I know my content. And off the top of my head, we're gonna go through some possibilities here. So one, he's flirting with this girl, because maybe he's hooked up with her in the past and he just doesn't want her to feel rejected and make a fake date rape claim or blah 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 blah. That's a that's a huge one there. He's an experienced guy, he knows that a woman rejected is a woman scorned, and there's plenty of places in prison for those guys because women will make a fake claim or whatever. So he's doing his due diligence of making sure, well, I'm, I'm with the new girl. This girl was really keen on me. I'm just going to keep it friendly and sort of flirty and side chick vibes going on there just to keep it all civil. That's one possibility. Another possibility, he's not into her, but he's just sort of patrolling around, flirting to get your competition anxiety up. So when you go back later that night to your room, it's more, it's more you know, it's more, it's more sensual from your end because you're just going to have that. You're going to be more like, oh, you know, especially if you're ovulating. If you're ovulating, it's going to be boom. If you're in your uh, follicular phase... Luteal phase, you might be a bit more, eh, what's this guy doing, blah, blah, blah. But once you're ovulating, composition anxiety, it's like, G-spot, squirting, whatever. It's going to be more enhanced. This is how it is. Women have to have competition anxiety. That's why women hate, women hate guys who are jealous and insecure. They hate, they just like, Bleh. they hate it. Men, on the other hand, a bit of jealousy, a bit of insecurities, it's tolerable. Too much, it's like, eh. But if you're a man and you show any jealousy, to a guy, that woman subconsciously wants to bone that guy. Even if it's a guy she wouldn't really normally want to go with. She's like, oh, he's he's like too young, he's too old, he's too fat, he's too fit looking, he's too skinny, he's got blah, 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 blah. But if the guy she's into says, oh, 
what are you, what are you talking about here? What do you like? She's thinking in her head, I'm not into this other guy, but he is, and maybe I should bone him because he's a guy of high value. If my crush is feeling threatened or intimidated by him, I'm going to go jump his bones and see what all the fuss is about. That's why if you want to push a woman away or if you want her to bang your mate, just get jealous of your mate and then she'll be like, she won't even know why. She'll just, that's hypergamy. That's just female DNA, right? Just how it is. A lot of women are like, oh, no, no, I'm not like that. And it's like, well, maybe you'd have like hormones and it's all part of the deal. And it's okay. And that's fine. These are all possibilities here, okay? Strong possibilities, real world, possib- real world possibilities people don't really talk about because it's not PC or they don't even have a clue about it. That's okay. Um, another one is he wants to bone this chick and he's being nice, he's doing groundwork on her, he's thinking, wow, I've got this girl here, hey, I've got this girl, I've got this, and he's just, he's playing new girls against each other and he's like building it up, he's like, yeah, I'm going to be, you know, you got me Wednesday night, you got me Friday night and and he's probably doing that and that's fine, that's, you know, if that's what you're into and, you know, most girls want, would share a man, they just don't want to know about it. Most girls are happy to share an alpha, they just don't want, don't want to know they're sharing. But most women would rather knowingly share an alpha or a sigma guy than be with a committed beta loser. 100%. 100%. Uh, women of experience. Maybe new girls are only been one or two guys and still in the romantic hunting me for Oh, no, not me. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Never trust what a woman says. Okay? Not because women are bad. It's just you trust the actions, man. Like, you, you, you know, like, as you're a guy, if you're an experienced man, you know a woman to say one thing. And then five minutes later, it's like, hang on, you just said that, now you're like that. If you're a guy and you have you flip and flop like that, you are the biggest beater, you're the biggest pussy, you're a feminine man, and that's okay, but you're not respected by men or women. It's just, you're just like flippy and floppy, and you're like, blah, 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 you drama, and blah, 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 Duran Wright is awesome, Duran Wright is douche, Duran Wright is blah. And it's just like, women are just like, oh my God, this dude's drama. You know, and I go for a hairdressing meet with you, but that's about it. It's, uh... So yeah, women flip and flop on what they say all the time. Ah, but I wouldn't do that. And it's like, you know, it's just, <laughs> no means yes, yes means no. It's just, you know what I mean? Guy, not, that's not with guys though. You know what I mean? Guys aren't like that. Like, if no means no with a guy, or yes means yes with a guy. A masculine man, right? How many women have I been with who said no? And then I'm like, oh, okay. And then bang, they just pounce on me. And I was like, oh, okay, well, wow. welcome to feminine. The, welcome to the, the cat life of the feline world of women. It's like, no, yes, boom. Like, I can have a cat in my lap purring. And then you go outside with the cat, and the cat's like, who are you? Get away from me. What are you doing? Don't touch me. <laughs> and that's, what we're, that's how it is. And men, you have to understand that men have a lot of problem, a lot of pain in their life, because they think women are like dogs, and but women are like cats. One minute, they're smoochy, smoochy, scratchy, scratchy, cuddly, cuddly. Next minute, their claws are out. They're flipping out. Their PMS, their estrogen's up. Progesterone's going down. They're... Little phrase is coming in, the ovulation's coming out, and it's like, whoop, follicular phase, grabbing you, and, ah, you know? Guys, oh my God, this girl's crazy. She's a woman. Yeah, she's not crazy, she's not a woman. It's probably a man. And that's, hey, and that's, that's fine. That's what you're into. Just saying. Um, this is real talk here. Uh, so there's another possibility. Um, you know, he wants to bone the other chick. He's using competition anxiety to leverage the attraction with you. Um, he's feeling, don't reject the other girl in case she goes crazy fake rape date claim. Um, another one is he's a new guy on the dating scene and he's thinking, wow, I've got this chick. And then now the other girls give me attention because guys with girls get more attention than guys who are single because girls like, what's wrong with him? You know, that's, that's another funny one is if you've got a girl, girls are more interested to you. But then if you say you've got a girlfriend, they're like, oh, he's already taken. I won't go there. But. They want to know if you're safe and dateable. You know what I mean? So it's sort of like that, that female paradox. I'm not into guys who've got girlfriends. I wouldn't do that. And then it's when they're ovulating or a few drinks into them. So it's just like that whole, you know, yes means no, no means yes. <laughs> Depending on time of the month or day or minute it is. And that's okay. It's just, that's just the weather, man. Today's it's first day of October. A few days ago, I was getting sunburned. Now today I'm wearing a... You know, a, a jacket, a, a vest, and staying warm, and got long pants on. That's the weather, man. You know, I could sit here in my summer clothes, going, "Oh my God, this is stupid. It was hot the other day. Now it's cold." The weather's feminine. Women are feminine, right? Men, masculine. Masculine means the rock, like the ground. It's just like you come back here tomorrow. This ground's still gonna be here. The rock, the big boulder or whatever, still gonna be still here. Women like men who are masculine. They gravitate towards us. 
And so, again, a man can be feminine and flippy and floppy and drama and high stakes and, you know, like we all all done at that point in our lives. Or you can go, okay, this is what we want. We want someone who's calm, has presence and emotional state control and who understands women. Women want guys who experience. Well, else can we go here? Um, what other possibilities have we got? Yeah, so the possibility is that he's new to the dating scene and he's getting his confidence up. You know, I was a late bloomer to the dating scene, so when I was getting attention from women, I was like, oh, man, bring it on, bring it on. I was just like, yeah, phew, you know. And it was threesomes, and it was just, it was, you know, spinning seven plates a week. It was just insane because I was, like, making up for lost time. So maybe this guy is like I was used to be back in the day, making up for lost time. Maybe he didn't get enough attention or enough attention for him beforehand. Maybe he's hopped on steroids or he, you know, he's got more ascetics now. Women go, wow, let's you, you hang out. You know, let's go sucky fucky and let's go do some stuff. But before that, girls were like, ah, oh, you're too this, you're too that. Don't want, it, don't want time of day. And so maybe now it's a possibility he's getting the attention he wasn't getting before and he's just taking it from all angles, all right? Pun intended. So, or giving it from all angles, I should say. So that's the deal there. Um... But any advice in dealing with jealousy for you is jealous is normal. And if you're not jealous, then you probably don't care, you know, about this dude. So that's a good sign, you know. If there's no pulse or heartbeat in a relationship, if you're just like, eh, whatever, indifferent, then there is no relationship. So it's okay to be jealous, but keep your jealousy one or two out of ten. Don't shut up too much, you know, because jealousy is insecurity and as a woman you're allowed to be insecure society says but it's not you know a bit a bit here and there's okay but it's really like i mean that's why i generally date with my girlfriends like natasha you know super hot you know victoria's Secret model type girlfriends that's all i can really handle these days because anyone who's not in that niche will get so insecure and so jealous from the attention i get from you know these other you know ascetic girls or whatever um, and every woman has their own aesthetic. You know, you're younger, or you're older, you're bigger, you're smaller, you're tight waist, you're big, whatever. Just, you know, everyone has, every woman has her aesthetic that ebbs and flows and stuff like that. So I find women like Natasha, who are high, you know, right up there in the top 1% of female aesthetics based on what women think, um, they're easier for me to be around because their insecurity levels are super, super low. You know, they're just as je oftentimes the, je the jealousy Natasha gets is very, very low. You know, and I'm a guy with a lot of women, you know, in my life, in my social media, past, present, future, etc. And so Natasha's like, eh, that's just Harley, boom, boom, boom. We can deal with that. But on other women, it's just, it just wouldn't fly. It would be just be like, oh my God, so much tension, so much unnecessary explanations of what's going on, and blah, 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 blah. You know, so that's just, um, it works. Natasha, she's super mature. But not just mature, maturities, maturities control your emotions, and that's when Natasha has that in spades, um, because she'd known me for so long, even before we got together, she was following me when she was 15, I right? so she's sort of grown up with me, as <laughs> creepy as that sounds, that does sound pretty creepy, but, uh, but again, it creates a lot of understanding, a lot of depth there as well, depth, I mean, women like depth in many, many ways, and, and girth, and stuff like that, but that's just the deal, girth in your relationship, in terms of expanding your communication set, and expanding other things, uh, guys, but this one's more for the women out there, this is a possibility, of what's going on there, um, but as a guy as well, what can you do to minimize competition anxiety, <laughs> you don't want to do that, man, you don't want to do that, you don't want to be a douche about it, and go, hey, hey, that chick likes me, no, 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 that should, then you, now you'll be really just, being a douche and women what women hate the most besides insecure jealous guys is douchebags you know? douchebags is number one if you're a douchebag it's like see you later the second thing women hate the most is insecure jealous guys that's just like that so i have a really really bad pungent breath so like, oh just like emotionally it's like a real bad pungent breath you're like oh man <laughs> what's that you know it's paint stripping out here so that's why you want to have good breath uh, be mindful of that. So, if you're a douche, women just like, Phew. I'm, I'm not, I'm not hanging on this too much longer. Um, now, if you're a confident douche, women will stick around a bit, but you're still going to be losing a lot of ground versus your twin brother, who's a confident guy, but a nice guy, and he's not a douche. All right? So, for men, I would say that 
depends on the woman. You, you don't need to rub it in to your woman. Right? Your woman sees how other women look at you. Your woman sees the DMs coming in, if, assuming you've got uh, open transparency on accounts. Women see that going on. You don't need to rub it in. If you rub it in, she'll be like, you want to rub it in, do you? Hmm, you want to rub it in? You know, so don't rub it in. Never rub it in. You know, um, just, you know, women want to be with men who could have a harem of women, but who don't, you know. Women need to have competition anxiety or they don't feel that their investment is really worthwhile. Same with the guy with the sports car. Like, if he's got a beat-up Toyota Corolla, it's a bit like, hmm. You know, if he's got, like, a Ferrari 488, blah, blah, blah. You know, and he's like, oh, can I get too close? Scratch my just back off, mate. Back off, boy. Back off. You know, he wants that competition. People are looking, oh, it's a sick car, bro, sick car. But then there's that anxiety of, like, is someone going to scratch it in the car park, you know? Women want that as well. They want this, like, you know, six foot, six figure income, six inches, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, they women want guys like that, guys like me, etc. But they also understand other women want that as well, you know? So this is part of the parcel. It's competition anxiety. <laughs> I can just see some of the comments now from the trolls. You're not six foot, you don't have six figures, you don't have six inches. That's the way I'm six foot. Six figures, yes, and seven inches. Six girth, so... But, again, for guys who don't have that, they're like, oh, what's, what's the point then? You know, like, why well, don't have that? You know, women just walk straight past me. And that is true. If you're a guy and you're five foot tall, most women just don't even know you exist. Right? And if you're a woman and you're five foot tall, plenty of guys are into that, you know. So there is that, you know, double standard dichotomy. It's harder for men, really. It is harder for men. Um, you know, but it's pros and cons for both. It's harder for women in some aspects, harder for men in others, but in general, it's harder for men because if you don't have money or good looks, women don't really have much time for you. Maybe as a friend, you know, it's just part of the deal. If you don't have fame and girth and experience and action, masculine presence, masculine, actually masculine presence is the main one. All right? that's, that's your main card you've got. If you don't have masculine presence, you've got nothing, really. All right? You might have money and fame and status, but she'll just use that and to monkey branch to some, another guy who has that plus masculine presence. So masculine presence is definitely what guys want to, Harness and that's just being present, no phone, no like looking around, no blah blah blah, just like present. Like, wow, she's the most pretty thing I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> wow, you know, you're just like you're like transfixed on her. That's masculine presence. And if she's into you, she'll be like, This is amazing. If she's not into you, she's like, Oh, this guy's creepy. <laughs> Again, same thing, you know, give it to one woman, she's like, Oh, another woman's like, Oh my god, she's laughing, she's just like, you know, unstrapping, this is hair tight, she's just, you know, getting ready. Cause she's like, wow, this guy's really into me, really present, and I'm into him as well. So I was like, let's roll. That's the deal there. Um, competition anxiety. Women need to have it to feel satisfied. But guys, never rub it in. Right? Never rub it in. Never rub it in. Don't be like, hey, 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 on your phone, showing your dance. Look at this chicks. Don't do that. You can leave your phone open and the, your girl can see these other chicks messaging you and you being a bit like, you know, nonchalantly like, hey, hey, go, mate. You know, you're not flirty back. You're just like, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's that's a good one to build the competition anxiety. But rubbing it in, I stress it again, guys. Don't rub it in, man. Don't rub it in. Um, I rubbed it in before once, and that was, man, <clears throat> damn. That was really, really stupid. Really stupid. <laughs> <coughs> mistakes I've made. Learn from my mistakes. Don't make. Don't. don't, don't, don't. <coughs> <clears throat> don't make mistakes if you can learn from other people's mistakes. You save time, heartache, money, etc. That's the deal there. But yeah, welcome to dating life. If you don't have problems with your relationship, you don't have a relationship. 